Welcome to CFC Fan TV. It's finally here. Chelsea versus Barcelona is about 24 hours away. This is what it's all about. Electric night at Stamford Bridge. European night under the floodlights. Our record in European competition at Stamford Bridge is something to be very proud of. And we know this is going to be tough. We know it's going to be really tough. They are a magical team, this Barcelona side. But I've been racking my brains and I've come up with the five things we have to do to win this fixture. Point one, the primary thing that we have to do to get through this fixture is go to Barcelona with a lead. So we have to win. We have to win tomorrow night. It is essential that we go to the new Camp with something to protect. To do that, we simply have to get the formation spot on. It's so important that we pick the right formation and I think we can do it. Barcelona currently play a 4-4-2 diamond with Paulinho at the top of it. We need to combat that system. I think that the only way that we can do that is to play 3-5-2. When you play 3-5-2, you numerically outnumber everybody. You have a numerical advantage at every point on the pitch, except for the centre forward. And yeah, that's the way that it will be. But you know, he can he can be joined by Eden Hazard when we have the ball. So you can compensate there, but everywhere else across the pitch, you have a numerical advantage. And that could be key to combating this team because we're not going to have a lot of the ball. We're going to be under pressure a lot. We know that. So making sure that we have the players in the right position to defend for their lives is going to be very, very important. And I think that I think the Conte will get it spot on, but I think that we have to go. We're going to sadly have to sacrifice William and Pedro in order to make sure that across the pitch, everywhere else, we have numbers because we're going to have to defend as a team. We're going to have to defend en masse and we're going to have to defend for our lives. So having numerical superiority across the pitch is vital. We've got to go 3-5-2. Point two. Now, this is easier said than done, I concede, but if we are to have any hope of winning this fixture, what we're going to have to do is keep their left side quiet. They are very, very good down that side. And, you know, we know that Lionel Messi likes to come over there. We know he likes to pick up the ball deep. And we are relying on Victor Moses and Cesar Azpilicueta drifting over to that side in order to compensate and make sure that we look after it. Because in Jordi Alba, he pushes forward. He has an awful lot of assists. I think he's got six assists, scored two goals. We're going to need to look after him. And I think it's going to rely on three players, actually, come drifting over to that left side and being very preoccupied with what goes on down that flank. I think Victor Moses is going to have to really shape up. I think Cesar Azpilicueta is going to have to prioritise that side of his game rather than what's going on more centrally. I think we can look after what's going on more centrally with the brilliance of Christensen. So Cesar Azpilicueta will have to have one eye always on what's going on on his outside. And I would say the same for N'Golo Kante. I think Kante is always going to have to have one predominant thought in his mind and that is what's going on over his right shoulder so keeping their left flank quiet is vital you know they do have the players that can come on change it up whether Dembele will come on we, you know will remain to be seen but whatever's going on keeping that part of the pitch quiet if Chelsea can nullify their left flank we have a really good chance of keeping them quiet as they're going forward and then got Nick one point three is picking the perfect team. That isn't picking the best team, that's picking the perfect team for this fixture. And for me, that involves David Luiz. I think David Luiz has to start. For me, he will play, he should play central midfield. I don't think it will happen. I don't think Conte will, will make such a grand gesture, but I think that David Luiz should be in this fixture. If he's fit, he should be playing central midfield alongside N'Golo Kante and alongside Cesc Fabregas. He's a big game player. He has a great history in this competition. Even this year, you know, he hasn't played much this year. He still scored a wonderful goal against Roma at home. And I just think that when you think of his performance, say coming back to face us for PSG, he really can turn it on in this competition. He's a big game player. He's a big personality. And who else is going to stick an elbow in Luis Suarez's ribs at every corner if David Luiz isn't on the pitch? I think he should play. I don't think he will, but I really think, hope he does. Um, the other thing I think we have to do when I say pick the perfect team is not pick Gary Cahill. I don't think he should play this fixture. I think our back line has looked very good. The players most in form are Aspilicueta, Christensen, Rudiger. I think those three should be the main uh, defenders. They should be the centre-halves. And Gary Cahill is the club captain. I'm sure he can play a role in this fixture if necessary, but I don't think he should start. And getting the personnel spot on is going to be so important. And the last thing that needs a debate, and this is what I'm going to leave to you, 
it's who plays up front. For me, it's Alvaro Morata, no question. For Sophie, it's Olivier Giroud, no question. I'm gonna leave this one with you. Comment below, let us know who you think should start up front. Point four, it's the news that Gerard Piquet is nursing an injury. I think that this is good news either way. I think the fact that he has a knock means that if he plays, if they force him to play, and you know, he is a, a imperious player, he's a wonderful defender, and we know how good he can be and how vital he is to everything that they do going forward. If he's got a knock and they play him, great. It means we exploit that. And if he's got a knock so serious that he can't play, even better. So whatever the outcome on this PK knock, we really didn't, do need to exploit it. I saw the footage of him playing the other day. He's playing with a very heavily bandaged right leg. However this plays out, whatever the outcome, whether he starts, whether he, whether he doesn't, PK's injury could be vital to us progressing. Finally, point five, it's gonna come down to two things. One of them is Lady Luck. We're gonna need to really ride our luck. We know that, we always have against these. They're a wonderful team. Anyone who ever beats them will always ride their luck slightly. The other thing, is Eden Hazard. The form of Eden Hazard is so vital to all of our future aspirations. Keeping, it, keeping him at the club is so vital. But if Eden Hazard has a good game tomorrow night, Chelsea could win the fixture. If Eden Hazard is anonymous, we probably won't. So getting Hazard playing well is so vital. A bit of luck. And the last thing I'd like to see, the spirit of Ramirez. Let everyone fight, let everyone go for it. This is an opportunity. This game sh should be viewed as one of the greatest opportunities of your career. You're playing against one of the most brilliant sides the world has ever seen, against the best player that the world has ever seen. And this is your time, your chance, to write your name in Chelsea folklore. We can do this, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be incredible. Uh, I'll see you down there. Sophie will be vlogging, she'll be doing the fan cams after the game. And yeah, if you're going, sing up. And if you're not going, yeah, let us know where you're going to be watching from because this is what it's all about, isn't it? European nights under the floodlights at Stamford Bridge.